Hey guys, how you going? Long time no see. Uh, Fads is back. I um, haven't done a video for a very long time for those of you guys that are subscribers and I apologise for that. Whole heap of stuff been happening um, but haven't been doing a lot of brewing or anything um, but uh, I, um, I'm keen to get back into it so just thought I'd do a little video. One of my mates give me a uh, a bottle to try of his home brew cider. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, a bit of a tasting there. And I was in the supermarket the other day thinking about brewing and different things and stuff. So uh, wanting to do a brew and we have a brand new supermarket where I live and what I found was home brand home brew draft so one kilo one, sorry 1.7 kilo um, for seven dollars Australian um, and that sparked my interest and walked past with the trolley with the missus and, and stuff and I, I did see it and um, so the next day I thought, do you know what, that's a challenge. If I can make this taste good, it's a, it's a bit of a challenge for me anyway. So I, I started thinking about it and I think what hops and blah blah blah, I don't know what sort of it doesn't say anything about what sort of color this concentrate is or anything like that it could be sort of amber it could be light it could be i'm guessing it could be sort of amber or light color um so i started thinking about what hops i really like and um stuff and i went through the freezer and had some amarillo so i've got 50 grams of amarillo which has been in the freezer for a, a very long time. So, and I bought a Brew Enhancer. So, um, Brew Enhancer 2 from Coopers. So, that's going to be a, a little brew. And I'll, I might do a couple of versions of that. See if I can find one that's, that I can make um, using some substandard ingredients. Well, I don't know, it could be great ingredients, I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. But anyway, back to the tasting quickly. Um, so, this is from my friend Rodney, and Rod's been brewing constantly. Oh, a little bit of, uh, it's been laying down, so got a little bit of stuff there, Ooh, which is just dislodged. So, I'm trying to be a bit careful on the port, but we'll see how this goes. A little hiss. Now I'm not sure a lot of detail on how he brewed this. It smells nice. It smells sweet and appley. So this is a he asked me a few questions on Sorter a little while ago. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but what epivisant? Looks sensational. Um, lots of carbonation. Looks really good, Rod. So, um, smells good. So, I I'm not a real cider drinker, but I'm pretty sure he made this for, for his wife who likes a cider. She doesn't really enjoy a beer, but, but, um, I don't mind the odd cider, but we'll see how this one goes. So, cheers, Rod. Thank you very much for the. The bottle and cheers guys uh, it's uh it's good to be back so here we go it's really good um it's not super sweet because I, I really don't like sickly sweet ciders it's quite dry and um really crisp so i, I, I really enjoy that i really like it um hang on a second my battery's a bit to fail. But um, that's that's tops, Rod. 
or I can. It's quite easy drinking. I know we use the cider yeast, I um, or maybe a champagne yeast. I'm not 100% sure, but I did tell him to to either buy a cider yeast or a champagne yeast to go with his his mixture. So I'll be quite interested to to get the the actual proper recipe off your room because um, that's quite nice. Really enjoy that. It's um very crisp really dry which I like it's not real sweet it smells it smells like it's going to be sweet but it's not so I'll um I'll cut this one off there guys and I'll I'll do another video when I I'm going to bottle this and, and leave it for a few weeks so um I'm going to do this in a minute so but um I'll do another video if anyone's interested but cheers everyone and uh happy homebrew Wednesday for tomorrow and um Take care, live life, drink beer. See you later.